We are going over converting mixed numbers to improper fractions and converting improper fractions to mixed numbers. My learning target is I can multiply and divide positive rational numbers fluently. So being able to do being able to convert between these two things is going to help us multiply and divide positive fractions successfully. Um, so a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction. An example would be something like 1 and 1 seventh. We have the whole number and then we have the fraction. An improper fraction is where the numerator, that's the number on top, is greater than or equal to the denominator, which is the number on the bottom. So an example of improper fraction could be eight over seven. My numerator is eight, my denominator is seven, eight is greater than seven. Okay, so if we are gonna convert a mixed number to an improper fraction, we're going to use something called the popcorn method. And that is, I'm going to do the example on the side and kind of do the steps as we go. So we have three, oops, three and two fifths. We are going to multiply the whole number and the denominator. So three times five, which is 15. And then we are going to add the numerator to the product. So 15 plus two, which is 17, and then you are going to write the sum of the product in the numerator over the denominator. So my final answer is 17 over 5. All right, if I were to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number, so I have 17 over 5. We already know what the mixed number is, but I'm going to show you how we get that 3 and 2 fifths. We are going to divide... the numerator by the denominator. So how many times does five go into 17? So I would say that it goes in three times because five times three is 15. 5 times 4 is 20, so that's too much. So we're going to write the number of times the denominator can go to the numerator, and then we are going to write the remainder over the denominator as the fraction part. So the remainder, 5 times 3 is 15, so the remainder is 2, and that's over 5. All right, we're gonna do each one of these. We need to decide if it's an improper fraction or a mixed number, and then we're gonna convert it to the opposite. So this is 23 over four. This is an improper fraction. So I'm gonna convert it to a mixed number. How many times does four go into 23? Four times five is 20. Four times six is 24, that's too much. So four times five is 20. The remainder of that is 3. So 
So another way you can really show your steps is you can divide over here. I'm sorry. So my remainder is three. So five with a remainder of three over four. All right. This is an improper fraction. I can do, divide these. I know that 25 goes into, I think about 25 cents, it goes into a dollar, a hundred cents four times. With a remainder of 13, so that's four and 13 over 25. I also didn't say this last time, but I need to check to see if I can simplify this fraction. I can't. So that is my answer. All right, number three, this is a mixed number. So we're going to use the popcorn method. So 10 times five is 50, and then we're going to add that 3, so my answer is 53 over 5. Okay, number 4, this is a mixed number, so we're going to convert it to an improper fraction. 5 times 10 is 50 plus the nine is 59, and then put that over 10. All right, nine sevenths is a improper fraction. We're gonna turn it into a mixed number. So seven goes into nine one time. The remainder of two, so that's one and two sevenths. I can't simplify that fraction anymore, so that is my answer. All right, number six. This is a mixed number. So six times three is 18 plus one is 19, so my answer is 19 over 3. Number 7, this is an improper fraction. 12 goes into 27 two times, which is 24, with a remainder of 3, so 2 and 3 twelfths, which I can simplify. Your greatest common factor is 3, so my answer is 2 and 1 fourth. All right, eight, this is a mixed number. We're gonna convert it. Nine times three is 27, plus eight is 35, and that's gonna be 35 over nine. All right, we're gonna convert this to an improper fraction. Two times four is eight, plus three is 11 over four.
Number 10, last one. We're going to convert this to a mixed number. Okay, I'm not sure on this one, so I'm going to guess and check. So 14 goes into 63 four times. with a remainder of seven. So this is four and seven fourteenths. I can simplify this with the greatest common factor of seven. So this is four and one half. All right, thanks for watching.